We are joined via Skype from Midland, Texas by Pastor Bob Fu, a Chinese-American Christian who is the founder of the China Aid Association, which provides legal aid to Christians in China. It is a, a tremendous irony. China has the world's largest Bible factory. Freedom of religion exists in the Constitution, but is it only in name? Is it mostly a farce? You are right, Anthony. Thank you for having me. It's such an irony that, yes, uh, the Bible has been legally printed um, in China and uh, printed so many copies, the, even exported so many, but yet not so many people know only one government-controlled press uh, can uh, be allowed to print Bible, and uh, the Bible is not allowed to be sold in any public bookstore. So it's a forbidden product. And uh, China, you know, the Chinese government may have jailed more people of faith than the rest of the world combined. And just the last year alone, there, according to our record, over 3,000 uh, Christians um, were even criminally uh, sentenced. And uh, almost 30,000 Christians were persecuted in one way or another. And uh, even the government sanctioned churches, uh, there are um, between uh, 500 to uh, perhaps 1,000 government sanctioned churches last year were either destroyed totally by force yeah. or their crosses being removed. You were tortured and jailed for your religious activities in China. And, and I know you have said that China is seeing its worst religious per persecution since the Cultural Revolution. but. Is that fair? Despite all the problems, hasn't Christianity spread and made great strides? Yes, uh, you are right. In, I mean, in both uh, sides, uh, you know, the uh, the revival and the growth of Christianity, especially in China, in the past 60 years, has been unprecedented. Perhaps in 2030, China will be destined to become the largest Christian nation with the 200. 24 million Christians estimated uh, to be, yet uh, the persecution has never been stopped and actually even becoming worse uh, in the past few years. Now you mentioned the uh, official Catholic and Protestant churches that have been technically sanctioned by the government. I know the majority of worshipers stay away from them. Uh, how different are they than the regular Catholic and Protestant churches? I think the fundamental difference between the so-called government-sanctioned patriotic, you know, Catholic and Protestant churches and uh, the independent house churches or underground church is really uh, who is the head of the church, the only head uh, according to the uh, biblical um, uh, scripture that uh, the only head of the church is uh, Jesus Christ and him alone not a communist party, not a political force, not at any human organizations. Right, and you know, the, the Chinese government's position on religion does seem to be Orwellian, because as you said, you know, last year, uh, some of these government sanctioned churches have been attacked. There was a major church that had been approved and it was demolished in the eastern city of uh, Wenzhou. Uh, but the Chinese government said, then, oh, this isn't persecution. So, so what is the Chinese government trying to do? Are they trying to allow some religion in order to let off steam because it feels that religion poses a threat? So this is uh, really uh, the uh, targeted campaign uh, with the purpose to uh, use the government language, the so-called to cool down the overheated Christianity growth. So no. that's the hidden political agenda. It has nothing to do with the organization structure or so-called illegal buildings, uh, because these buildings were, were approved. permitted and uh, already sanctioned right. by the Chinese government.